카메 스캔 브이지 플러스의 가장 중요한 기능은 바로 차량 진단입니다. 차량 진단을 하기 위해 차량과 카메 스캔 브이지 플러스의 연결 방법부터 차량 진단 아이콘 선택에 따른 메뉴와 진단 프로그램의 주요 기능은 무엇인지 보시겠습니다. 우리는 Once connected, tap on the vehicle diagnosis icon on the main menu. To test classified by system, tap on the vehicle diagnosis icon. To do OBD2 diagnosis, tap on the OBD2 icon. And to use the gas analyzer function, tap on the gas analyzer icon. If the vehicle diagnosis icon is selected, select the country of the vehicle to diagnose. Next, after selecting the maker of the vehicle, enter the name of the vehicle. Select the vehicle system to diagnose. If the communication fails, a message saying that the communication failed pops up. In this case, check that the diagnosis cable is properly connected and check again that vehicle type and year as well as system specifications have been correctly selected. If the communication is successful, the user is taken to the main diagnosis screen. If the OBD2 icon is selected, Protocols for which diagnosis is possible will be shown on the left side of the screen. If the ECU check icon is clicked, the vehicle's engine system and ECU found after the communication will be shown on the right side of the screen. If one of the protocols found and displayed is clicked, communication is attempted. In the OBD2 communication as well, service data and trouble codes can be checked and deleted. But for the OBD2, only data related to exhaust gas can be viewed, so there is a limit to the types of sensor data supported. If the gas analyzer icon is selected, instructions on how to connect Carmen Scan VG Plus to a gas analyzer are displayed on the screen. Using the RS232 cable, connect the gas analyzer to the Carmen Scan VS Plus. Next, tap on the connection icon on the Carmen Scan VG Plus screen. Before taking measurements, we'll first learn about how to set reference values for the vehicle to measure, since the reference values are different for each vehicle. First, select the Environment Configuration icon on the main screen. In the Environment Configuration menu, select the Gas Analyzer Configuration icon. Making use of the keyboard icon, enter reference values in the input window for Examination Vehicle Examination Reference value. To edit an entered reference value, select the edit icon. To delete, select the delete icon. In the measurement item, items to measure can be selected, and in the examination item, items that report reference values can be selected. When done setting a reference value, select the confirm icon to save it. If the hold icon is tapped while measuring exhaust gas, the measurement is paused, and if tapped again, the measurement results are printed. The zero icon is selected when initializing the measurement value on the screen. The purge icon is selected when cleansing the remaining gas in the measurement probe with clean air. The MIAS icon is selected when starting the measurement. The standby icon is selected when changing to the measurement pause status. The language select icon allows for switching to a different display language if a diagnosis program that supports multiple languages is in the system. In this section, we'll learn about the main diagnosis screen. When opening a communication with the vehicle to diagnose is successful, the following screen appears. If the F1 button or the trouble code item is tapped, the screen changes to the trouble code screen. If there are trouble codes, they are displayed as shown on the screen. But if there are no trouble codes, the message, no trouble code exists, appears. If you want to remove the code, press the delete from memory icon. 
Deletion of trouble codes must be done while the ignition key is turned on and the engine is stopped. For transient trouble codes, they can be deleted without repair. However, at the present time, if a trouble occurs, it is deleted and then reappears. In this case, please try again after repairing the problem. If you would like to see help when a trouble code appears, tap on the help icon. In help, regulated values and trouble repair information about the sensor can be viewed, as well as related waveforms and electrical circuits. The extent of help support may vary depending on the particular vehicle type. Next, we'll learn about sensor data. To select a sensor data item, press the F2 button or tap on the screen. On this menu, change of sensor values can be confirmed while looking at values and graphs. There are three ways for fixing a sensor value that the user wants to view. The first way is double tapping on the desired sensor item using the touch pen. The second way is tapping to select an item located on the left side of the screen and tapping the Add Fixed icon. The last way is to tap on the sensor once and then use the Enter key of the device. The screen's Unfix icon deletes all of the fixed sensor values. The Buffer Initialization icon initializes the max min of service data values. We'll go over how to save sensor data. After fixing the desired sensor item, tap Graph View. Next, tap the File icon and then the Save icon. A window asking whether to save will pop up. If you want to save, tap on the OK icon. If you want to end save, you can tap the save icon once again. The saved data can be viewed again via File Open. In the Sensor Data File View window, a saved file can be viewed by tapping on the desired data file list and then tapping on the graph icon. The Compare icon lets you analyze data before and after a repair by collecting maintenance information. If the Compare icon is tapped, the sensor values being measured can be compared with the previous saved sensor values. We'll learn about how to configure the environment by returning to the Graph Mode screen. If the Environment Configuration icon is tapped, a Channel Configuration icon appears. The Channel View Plus icon can be tapped to increase the number of sensor items shown on one screen. The default number of items shown is 4. It can be increased to a maximum of 8 items. The Channel View Minus icon can be tapped to decrease the number of sensor items shown on one screen. It can be decreased to a minimum of one item. The Data icon can be tapped to view current sensor values in the graph as numerical values. They will be shown above the graph in the center of the screen. The Range icon can be tapped to view the min-max values of a sensor in the graph. They will be shown above the graph at the right end of the screen. The Channel Name icon can be tapped to see the sensor name on the graph. It will be shown above the graph at the left end of the screen. The corresponding channel plus minus icons for a sensor can be tapped to expand or reduce the graph shown on the screen. The start stop icon in the environment configuration icon allows recording of data in an interval for subsequent view of the saved screen, which is started by tapping on the icon. If tapped again, the screen resumes processing. The saved data by the start stop function doesn't get saved to the hard disk. The left and right arrow keys of the page allow moving the screen in page units. The scale plus and minus menus allow expanding or reducing changes in data shown on the screen by a unit of 10. We'll learn about the simulated scan next. Simulated scan is used when doing power, frequency, and duty simulations using a scope cable while watching changes in sensor data values. We'll explain by use of an example. First, connect the scope cable to channel 2 of the scope of the Carmen Scan VG+. Next, connect the probe of the scope cable to the sensor signal of the sensor that you want to do a simulated scan for. After that, among the sensor data items, double tap on the sensor value that you want to do a simulated scan for in order to fix it in place. Tap on the simulated scan icon and then tap on the voltage output. If the volt simulation window is activated at this time, simulation using voltage can be done. Tap on the start and then check sensor data values while increasing or decreasing the voltage. Using this kind of method, state of electrical wiring from the sensor to the ECU or the correct operation of the ECU can be checked. The frequency output too can be done as shown above. 
select the escape icon to end simulated scan. The gas analyzer icon allows viewing of service data while at the same time performing gas analysis. It is an item that forcibly starts or stops an actuator to find out if there are any problems with the actuator. If an item to test is selected in the actuator list, depending on the particular actuator, start and stop icons become activated in the left window as shown, and time, test method, and test conditions are shown in the right window. The start button is used to forcibly start or forcibly stop the actuator. The stop button is used to stop the operation of the actuator currently under testing. By tapping on the miscellaneous icon, various watch values can be viewed, as well as performing system reset and checking system specifications. By tapping on the yes-no item, the user confirms his action before deleting a watch value or executing a command. If the enter item is tapped, the command is executed, and if the escape item is tapped, the command is either canceled or the function is escaped. Tap on the corresponding number item to input a number. Resetting can be done for watch values or for system reset.